Improvisation, I would like to say that, well, I learned basically the way I practice and the way I teach this thing also. I learned it from Paco because I saw him playing along with, with records of singers of the Cameroon stuff, just like how I do in, at the beginning of my videos. Uh, that's not me playing, it's my practice. Some friend here in, in the school suggested that why didn't put one minute of this thing in the videos? It's an intro, and then I did. So, why I do that? This is because I took very seriously that Paco never practiced technique or other things. After he was 25 or 28 years old, he never practiced again technique. And the only thing he practiced, of course he composed, but the only thing he practiced is this, which was with cassettes that time. So I saw him many times, putting a cassette of Camarón or, or other singers, just like I do, and then play. And then I said, what is this thing? So first I said, wow. After the third or fourth time that we went to his place and saw him doing that, then, then I started to think this has to be something ultra great. So let's ask him what is this thing. Because I didn't get why he's playing over something that already has the melody. Right? And he said, this, what, this if you do, you will get to, to understand the whole thing and the melody you will understand actually. Because when you can make the, what the others are playing sound better with what you play, then even counterpoint happens there. And then this means that this is a great, great thing because you are, you are not only knowing, you are knowing how to make the others sound better and how to ornament the others because you understood the whole structure of the thing, right? And this has to be practiced. It will not happen just imaginary. So as I saw he was only only thing he practices that, I said this has to be. So I asked him that should I do this? Said, yeah, of course. This is an ultra important thing to do. Because if, if you develop things with time and then you evolve also in your phrasing and in your in your melodical understanding, right? And then you come to the point that when you will have to play over a piece really you have so many possibilities. Otherwise, the, old, the other option we have is to be parroting stuff forever, to just be a parrot. So, which means parroting notes and music that, that I did not create, that others did. In classic music, there is no freedom in this, in this sense here, because someone wrote a partiture, and there is no space for you. You have to play what is there, and that's it. There is no space for you. So therefore, to be able to, to get this freedom to express yourself really with music, improvisation has to be learned. And this improvisation field is not just improvisation. It actually will not serve you if you study their jazz before or anything. Because this is another style, totally different. So it will be as similar as what it is, katana, Japanese sword with French fencing. Yeah, both are swords, but this is so different. So what I see what Paco was doing there, I said, my God, 
what is this thing? I need to learn this stuff. So therefore, I took it very seriously, and for the last 25 years, <laughs> I tried to do it every day a bit, right? It is the part of practicing is, I see he put a cassette and play, and then I do the same thing. Because I want to understand what he was searching there. And then, of course, the way he creates, actually, the music, which now is this parrot over and over, although he never played the same thing twice, it was coming out of improvisation also, because he first improvised the stuff, then he liked how the phrase uh, worked there, and then, then it became... <laughs> you see, so this thing was not created just directly that, but it was created out of improvising many things. And then he came up with this thing. And then he decided, well, this, let's fix it as a falsetto. This is the art of falsetto playing and composing falsetto. And that's why there is nothing original nowadays. Because people don't have still deep knowledge of, of, of Paco. And then therefore they keep repeating the copy of the copy of the copy of the copy of what they don't know is the copy. It's a copy. Right? Then, then this is not good. Right? For the, for, but, but on the other side, on the other hand, if you do practice improvisation and analyze the music properly, you can come up, of course, with ideas. It's for sure. I'm not saying that nobody can be like Paco. All the opposite, actually, he said, this is a very bad thing. I remember after a, a show, someone came there and said, since I saw you playing, I quit playing. Would you play so great? And, he, and Paco goes, do you think this is a compliment? <laughs> I said, and the guy said, yeah. Uh, then the guy said, what do you mean? He said, yeah, of course it's a compliment. He said, no, this is not a compliment, man. This is depressing. I like when people come and say, after the concert, we, we, we were so inspired, we went to our apartment and we keep playing there all night. Even if it was just, you know, a beginner's stuff or anything, but, but the inspiration was there. And then he said, this, this, this means that, but if I am making you not play, then... So it was just a business to keep people believing that nobody can do it, but nobody can do it, but this is just the way they try to nullify him. It's not true. And of course he was not agreeing with this mentality because his contribution is very valuable, and yes, it's for everyone, it's even for other instruments. How is that? I teach in Canada some... Uh, courses which were, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, Maestro Bill McBurney, the flute, helped me with this, and, and some other great musicians as well, with piano, for saxophone, for any other, other instruments, were also playing this stuff, his music. I don't know if you have seen the Syria piece played by, by an orchestra, or by some horns there or something. It sounds cool. Trumpets and things. No guitar there, so. Of course, because Pac was a great musician and a great composer also of his style, and he transcended the, the instrumentalism thing. One of the problems we have is that we think only on guitar. Therefore, we have to go beyond uh, explore guitar. Of course, we are guitarists, so we have to, to go for guitar knowledge, but we have to also go beyond guitar. Right? So, to get there, that's why knowledge is necessary. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices 
que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.